but but you know self te- and and unfortunately backyard wrestling gives a real black eye to self teaching and wrestling and, and you know self taught Dave is not unusual Jerry the King Lawler self taught mm-hmm. was never trained you okay. know when he, first, when he first came in Bobby Eaton Kenny Omega the Young Bucks well, Bobby the Brain Heenan probably one of the best workers. You know, he was a manager, but he could work. You ask anybody of the old timers, they'll say he was the legend as a worker, never trained. He was self taught. He just knew he could do it. Yeah, Bubba Ray Dudley as well. He said he was self taught. Yeah. This, I mean, I, I just, that's the ones I could think of. But, uh, but yeah. So, Jeff Hardy. Right? You know, you know now they, it more to Keaton's generation. A lot of these guys did get some training too, though, later on, but they started out mm-hmm. without any training and had their first pro match without any training. So my point is you can, that's not a bad thing, but unfortunately backyard wrestling in the nineties just killed it. It just like know, labeled no. everything horribly for that. Because know, those, people... yeah, because those backyarders were doing like, it was all about, they, they were so influenced by the ECW and the hardcore matches yeah. and everything. And they tried to be the, you know, like the next Mick, Fo- like you said, Keaton, the next Mick Foley or the next Hardy boys. Yeah, and and it's like, and then what happens is they hurt each other, and then it makes the news. Oh, these kids did these wrestling moves, and somebody's in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Like, See how it just spirals out of control. Like a lot of people think, thought, um, that a lot of people thought you guys were in it, but I know the backyard wrestling wasn't involved, invented at that point. But like a lot of the kid kid wrestlers and like all, all sorts sort of wrestlers, it put a bad that's like sort of put a bad mark on wrestling at that point. Oh, yeah, um, it has. Because they didn't know how to play it properly. They didn't know how to do a table spot properly. properly. And they wanted to be the next big full leader. They wanted to do the next ECW stuff. But you need to know how to do that properly before you do it, obviously. Right. And, and you know, we... Exactly. When I wrote my book and documentary 20 years ago, I was constantly defending against backyard wrestling. You know, the, the only reason I did it at the time is because I thought, I seen those backyard DVDs, and I thought, I'm going to show them what was done before this. That was a lot better than what they're doing but then unfortunately when i came out with that people thought it was current and they're like well this is backyard wrestling again no no it's not and then I, and, and like you're like coach nathan was saying too it even it even in it, you know infiltrates into the indie leagues today right sometimes yeah. they throw them in that camp you know people that don't understand you know that are not realizing what's going mm-hmm. on here 